Hey everyone, it's Kel from Realm Space Gaming, and the countdown is on as we're just moments away from the highly anticipated release of Remnant 2. And trust me when I say that there is a plethora of brand new, exciting changes coming to the game that set it apart from its predecessor, Remnant from the Ashes. The developers have truly outdone themselves this time, and I'm here to guide you through all the reasons why. Before we dive into these running changes however, I do have some exhilarating news. We're giving away a standard edition copy of Remnant 2 to one fortunate subscriber. To participate in this giveaway, please hit up the gleam.io link in the description and comment section of this video. So without further ado, let's unravel the mysteries of Remnant 2. The first major change that's immediately noticeable is the visual upgrade. Compared to Remnant from the Ashes, Remnant 2 ditches the drab browns and greys, instead embracing a more vibrant and warm colour palette. Characters and environments are detailed with finesse, making the world come alive like never before. Next up, we've got some impressive quality of life upgrades. One standout is the stamina bar only draining during combat. This frees you up to explore and navigate the hub at your leisure. For explorers like ourselves, this tweak is a godsend. Additionally, a new level of verticality has also been introduced, which offers the ability to jump across gaps, uncover hidden secrets in biomes, and open up unexpected combat scenarios with foes attacking from all directions. Moreover, the gunplay mechanics have also undergone a radical transformation, with some early reviewers comparing it favourably to Outriders. Weapons, particularly the shotgun, also feel more powerful and satisfying with each shot, making combat more engaging as foes have become smarter and more devious. But what's a Remnant game without challenging bosses? In Remnant 2, the boss battles have been amplified, offering even greater challenges and incorporating new mechanics, while still requiring you to simultaneously fend off waves of creatures defending their boss. A truly game-changing modification in Remnant 2 is also the introduction of the archetype system. Unlike the armor-based class system in Remnant from the Ashes, Remnant 2 introduces unique skills, perks, and trait trees for each archetype, which level up as your character does. You can then also select two archetypes simultaneously, allowing for more creative and powerful build combinations. To find out more information on this, you can check out our previous videos of each archetype so far. This archetype shift has also influenced armor usage. In Remnant 2, armor serves as a cosmetic role and influences your weight class, which affects your dodge roll. To offer greater build variety, however, they have added two new ring slots, alleviating the decision-making agony that some players experienced in Remnant from the Ashes. And of course, let's not forget the expanded use of procedurally generated worlds. The developers have doubled down on this aspect, ensuring that even after completing the game, there's always something new to experience in each playthrough. Side quests, NPCs, and the very world you spawn in will differ, guaranteeing you countless hours of fresh and engaging gameplay. We hope this whirlwind tour through the myriad changes in Remnant 2 have left you as excited as we are. The team at Realm Space Gaming is all set to dive headfirst into this Dark Souls inspired shooter game, and we invite you to join our public Discord where you can connect with like minded community members ready to team up on launch day. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Remnant 2 content. Here's to a fantastic gaming experience and countless thrilling encounters. This is Cal from Realmspace Gaming wishing you a great day and as always, game on.